Welcome back, everybody, to the Vandals. Why do I feel like we're kind of low on units? All right, still, um... I think before I sail over, I mean, this is the, the day after I'm playing it, so. I think... I want to convert the docks, start getting some food eco, and then I want to make some more Tarkins! Yeah, those are the committed tenses. Man, I wish this was a faster process. Because <laughs> I can just uh, get food income from this. Because I can just get wood income by chopping trees. And just keep on doing that. Maybe if there's like a safe spot I can land on the other side, that'd be something. But the, my concern is that we're lo running low on gold. Okay, get rid of the tower. that. Get that. Yeah, we can't build fish traps, I remember, but we can at the very least uh, have fishing eco in the, the short to medium run. And I think this is just going to be a bit safer than trying to go across the water. Boo doo doo boop boop. Why did I get a notification? Patreon. You know, if you want to support my content more, you can always uh, subscribe for $3 a month of Patreon and get access to my videos a day or so early. Oh, they have maybe. Okay. Just go for some fire ships in the short run. One of the reasons I'm doing this is because, you know, I was streaming today as I was recording this and someone said that I was actually doing really well on time so far. So I think it's okay if we take a bit of a moment, make sure that we're uh, not proceeding too quickly. Oh, Gundy increasing in skill level. Feels good, man. Yeah. 
cursed to go Nova. Yeah. Torch him. Oh, can I get the onager here? Yep. Hey, All right. Anything over here? Uh, a bunch of farms are. I think I want to start crossing the water, though. Now, the docks don't get destroyed when I uh, delete my TC, or move my TC, you know what I mean? Thankfully. <laughs> Can at least keep going for a little while. Hey, destroy those houses. Over here. Uh, this looks safe. He said. Okay, that's fine. Uh, now we gotta deal with the Maori, though. Not the ones in New Zealand, it's the ones in North Africa. Goats over here. Hey, uh. the final Vandal homeland awesome. is in sight. Settling there will finally end the migration. Yeah, I remember that. We have to basically just Unpack her TC in Carthage, and then we play like a regular Civ. Ooh, lots of farms over here. Got some more goats. Okay, let's see if we can maybe get the TC over there. We're all loaded up. Let's see if there's anything... Whoa! In, like, the Balearics. Okay, okay, um... Okay, 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 okay. Mmm, that's not ideal. Oh, Guy Sirik, what are you doing all the way back over there? Okay, we need to rebuild our numbers here. Wait, why am I not using a war galley to scout, you know, with it having the much greater line of sight? See, that's what a clever man would do. Which is why I'm not doing it. Okay. 
Hurry up, man. Oh, wait. And take down these guys, hopefully. Not the dude. Aww. Yeah, let's try venturing into the desert just a little bit. as well. Ooh, food over here. Alright. Ah, uh, committed tenses. Oh, they have plus four defense now. Just keep scouting over this way. And hopefully we'll have an army that's strong enough to sort of march down the uh, the coast. dropping a little bit. Kind of need you guys alive so you can destroy buildings. Gundrick! I kind of want to resettle down over there, but I if it was a faster process, I guess. Ooh, I could land over there possibly on, what is this, Sardinia? Cav archers and our hero units and whatnot. We're gonna send the Tarkins over to do the uh, raiding. Okay, 
let's just try and bait them into our ships. Got that. And we should get all those buildings. All right, let's see if there's anything over here. Stay over there. You guys need to just keep destroying buildings. Oh, it looks like that legionary was a hero unit for some reason. Palma sacked. Oh, this would be Palma. Go, Gundy and Geisy. Do I dare dream of the Imperial Age? Okay, we really just need to move down here and strip it of resources. Um. Alright, let's go down this way. Transport over here. I mean, it's not like this area is super rich in resources, but at least it's something. And of course, our fishing ships aren't exactly super efficient anymore. Masilla is sacked. Geyseric is killed in battle. No! Gunderic mourns his brother but celebrates his valor. Oh, well, rip Geyseric. Our titular character. He was a slow infantry unit anyway. I just really need Imperial Age. Get some of those upgrades. Oh yeah, now they have imp upgrades. Hold, sir, hold. 
Ja. Three seems to be a good number there. Oh, um, whoops. Wonder if monastery. Uh, I think monasteries might be actually worth slightly more gold. There we go. All right, let's keep sailing over here. Scout down that way. Well, it's not much, but I'll take what I can. Oh, this has more food. I want a blacksmith as well. I wonder, would it be better to just circumvent the Roman coast entirely and just try and go through the desert? the barracks. Alrighty. We get our 10 extra pop space. Feels good, man. Oh, we can't make elite Tarkins! What the heck? That's so lame! I guess we can get Hussars. Yeah, that's pretty darn lame. Anyway, let's see how much damage we can get done out here in the desert. More Huns enter Gaul. Well, I'm not bothered about that. More food, I guess, at these oases if we need it. Oh, we got the Maori. Oh, well, there's still a few of them left. All right. Because the sooner we can stop being nomadic, the better, I think.
Um. The sea is still a Roman lake, and their fleets block the way to Rome. The Vandals can either build warships to battle for the sea, or colonize Sicily and move up the Italian peninsula by land. Oh boy. <clears throat> Oh wait, not Gunderick. At least he has eight pierce armor. At least he can absorb a lot of damage. All right. Okay, we're going to take Carthage. I don't care if all these guys die. We're going. We're gonna get all these buildings anyway. And we can start building extra TCs and making bills. Oh, look at that guy repairing the tower. Ornlu needs a new pair of Carthage. Oh. After the long journey, Whoa. the Vandals finally end their migration in Carthage. New buildings enabled. I think I can get a university and docks now. I can build castles. I have exactly 650 stone for castles. I think I build markets too, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Instantly giving ourselves all the gold. Wait, I can just start. Why do I want to be making infantry versus legionaries anyway? I can finally start getting eco upgrades. Gundrick's a pretty sick hero. I've lost almost all my vills, though. It'll be another full post imp. Yeah, that's 
No! Gundy! No! Rip. Then Derek falls in glorious battle as his father did. His nephew Unaric now leads the tribes. All right. Now we can get our eco on. Yeah, I still get gold for uh, killing Roman soldiers. And I can build fish traps now as well. Anyway, I do need to go back to getting my act together. I'm still sad I can't get Elite Tarkin. farming community over here. As we're now able to terraform Carthage. I mean, we have chieftains and Drusina. But we just don't really have many upgrades. I don't know. <laughs> These guys are, at the very least, quite cheap. That I hope. Oh, I can land over there. Wait a minute. I can't. Get uh, regular swordsman line. I can only make these Norse warriors, which, you know, in feudal age are really good units, but not at this point in the game. So that's a little weird. Yeah. 
think we do want chip right. Okay, well, we got that. Drop a castle maybe over here in Sicily. Goths don't even normally get dry docks, so the fact that we get it is a nice little boost. Actually, do we need to, like actually build stuff in Sicily at all. Maybe only start building uh, castles and whatnot on the mainland. Rome, the greatest city in the world, is now ripe for the taking. In whose opinion? In the Roman's opinion, it's the greatest city in the world. That's a little self-serving. I think it's Des Moines. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend people who live in Des Moines. <laughs> All right, let's just use this opportunity to start building up some, uh... Some gold. Can I build Drummonds? I can! Let's do that, thank you. on going with that. Those are our elite centurions and stuff. More lag spikes for the lols. All right, I think we might be able to uh, finish it in two parts. The uh, you know. The video. The scenario.
All right, let's sail up the coast this way. What? Land. Get those uh, guys. Let's try and keep up with our gold income. Oh, they have some legionaries in here. Yeah, it's fine. Got perfusion. We can get elite huskarls. Okay, now it's infantry time. Forward docks. Oh, come on. I think I still might want some cav archers behind. I mean, I already have all my upgrades for them. more docks. Yeah. Oh, I still can't build outposts. Outposts are apparently illegal in the Visigothic Empire, or uh, Vandal Empire. Okay, wait, here are the gates. More Drummonds, start attacking the city there, start building up some rams. Oh, hey. All 
I guess they just have a bunch of mostly stationary ships. Oh, I never got Elite Huskar. Whoops. Now we go full goth spam. Syracuse sacked, I guess. Anything over this way? I tried just going in that way, honestly. Whoa, what's that? Imperial Centurion that looks like it has worse stats than a regular Centurion. That's classic. Oh, it's another city over there. So, how do I sack Rome? It just says sack Rome. It does seem like the commit tenses just keep on spawning units at us, unfortunately. Transport you across. Honestly, don't need you guys. Of course, if you really want to go on the full-on Roman conquest thing, uh, there's tons more of the map to explore if that's what you're really into. But obviously, to get the achievable unlockable, we're going to just try and do this, you know, in a uh, relatively quick fashion. Got Chieftain's Androgyna here, which is pretty handy. Hey, 
And we're making the Norse soldiers instead of Huskarls, honestly, just because their uh, gold cost is so low. It's 26 to 13, so half the gold cost. Unfortunately, like, everything they have except frickin' scorpions deal melee damage. Can't we cross the bridge? Yeah, that's a lot of units they have. Yeah, I'm reasonably reasonably confident that the uh, elite Imperial Ultra Turbo Centurions have worse stats than the regular Centurions. Oh, it's the Colosseum, which is, I guess, just a bigger amphitheater. Anyway, overrun them. Oh, come on. Again, this is kind of where I wish I just had regular champions. Also, I have no idea when I'm supposed to uh, have won this by Hans and Tregal. Well, good for them. Vandalizing Rome, guys. Kind of running out of resources, though.
Yeah, I do wish I knew what exactly sacking room means. The Vandals oh. slaughter and plunder the ancient city of Rome, leaving their mark. Vandalized. Uh, by 4.55, so we actually were 15 years ahead of schedule. Uh... The town center to win the scenario. Oh, there we are. Huzzah! Let me turn up the volume. The destruction and terror the Vandals visited upon Rome would make the people legendary. Centuries later, Echoes of this devastation would cause the Vandals to be synonymous with senseless acts of destruction. But despite this reputation, the Vandals formed an impressive kingdom in North Africa, converting from migrating Germanic warriors to skilled seafarers inhabiting Rome's most lucrative provinces. The great wealth of the Vandal kingdom, however, made it a target for the Emperor Justinian's reconquest of Rome. After ruling North Africa for over a century, the Vandals were finally defeated by the Roman general Belisarius in 534. After this defeat, some Vandals joined the Eastern Roman army, serving as cavalrymen in Persia, while others fled to northern Algeria where they melded into the local Berber population. The people that had made an incredible migration, from Germania to Gaul, to Hispania, to Africa, had finally ended their journey. They faded into the mists of history. Oh, man. Well, we actually still had a positive KD there at the end. 1,036 army high. We collected a lot of food. All right. Wow. Okay, so we could have gone over here as well. Uh, there's even a city over here if we really wanted that. But yeah, I mean, like, this is one of the, the cool, you know, scenarios in this DLC where it's like we start with just a few units over here. We're in the frozen winters in Gaul and we're just having to slowly spread out across, you know, France. There's a city over here. Oh, looks like the Huns were attacking all these Roman cities. That's kind of cool. Goth camp over here, Roman camp over here. Yeah, you can't cross the Alps. Um. Yeah, there is the city over here. Oh, a big Gothic camp over there. Roman city over here. A transport ship. I have no idea why. Not sure what the transport ship there accomplishes. Just more Roman stuff here in Africa. We technically could have gone after but yeah wow that was uh that was a lot of fun guys hope you enjoyed so that is going to be it here for geyseric 406 next up will be vortigern i think uh 440 see you guys next time for that one